Hello, this is Preston Clark. I am the CEO and co-founder of Simple Docs. I'm going to introduce you to our platform today. Primarily, we're going to look at the Simple AI tool, which is our AI-powered Microsoft Word add-in that allows you to accelerate contract reviews, auto-build playbooks, and generally move through your review and drafting process more efficiently right inside Microsoft Word. We, of course, also have an AI repository and a general purpose CLM, which we call Simple CLM, uh, which is incredibly easy to use, incredibly easy to implement, and flat fee and limited access. We'll talk a little bit about that today, but if you want to go deeper into the CLM capabilities, I encourage you to request a demo through our website at simpledocs.com. Without further ado, let's dive into Simple AI, our AI-powered Microsoft Word add-in. I have a document up on the left. I have a list of my feature capabilities on the right. I'm going to introduce you to four or five of these today. Uh, and then, of course, again, request a demo if you'd like us to go deeper with you. Uh, so first things first, is a general matter, if I just want to quickly interface with a, with a document, ask it questions, make uh, quick changes, uh, not in a structured way that, that would require a playbook or other, I can do this using the Redline Draft and Ask Questions tool. Right now I've selected Redline, so I'll go ahead and say, make sure this agreement has uh, Florida as choice of law. What's good, what it's going to do now is it's going to analyze the document. It's going to check to see if there's a choice of law at all. And if there is, whether or not it's Florida in the, in the event that it is not, as you'll see right now, it's going to propose a change. So it's analyzing the NDA on the left. And here in just a second, it'll show me the result with a proposed change. Okay, here we go. It looks like it's listed as California. I'll select on the purple area. It'll take me to section nine of the agreement where this lives. If I press apply, of course, it immediately redlines. You can do this for larger scale changes as well. And so I could do something like change this mutual NDA to unilateral. And in that case, it's going to propose many changes um, of which I can apply uh, and then decide whether or not I want to accept or modify from there. Um, there's also, uh, oh, before I forget, in a multi-language environment, the tool is wonderfully powerful. So if you are doing, if you're reviewing contracts in different languages, or if your primary language is other than English, and you would like to give instructions in other languages, we absolutely support that. Uh, from a drafting perspective, if you are missing a clause or want to make a change to an agreement, um, you can, of course, just type in, I need a liquidated damages provision. And it will give you one instantly. Uh, you can modify it almost in a chat GPT type environment where you make changes, dollar amount, party names, etc. cetera. Uh, it'll compare this clause against the Law Insider database. That's really a hallucination check just to make sure that what's being generated is similar to other liquidated damages clauses in the public domain. In this instance, uh, of course, uh, as I mentioned, I can make changes, uh, let's say change dollar amount to 5 million uh, and it will inline make the, uh, the updates when i have a clause that meets my needs i can locate where in the document i want that to go and then click on insert cursor and that gets immediately carried over into the document okay uh one more thing here there's a great compare functionality as well as a chat functionality. And so chat or ask is, is really just the ability to, to ask questions of the document. Um, you know, please summarize key risks in the agreement. And, and it will give me um, a, a clause by clause or issue by issue summary that I can copy and take with me or, or use to sort of get my bearings um, on the document. Um, one more feature here on the compare side. Uh, this is really good for um, M&A scenarios where maybe you want to compare an LOI with a purchase agreement or a term sheet with a purchase agreement. Um, you can also use it to compare uh, your standard non-disclosure agreement versus the counterparties. Um, I will show an example of this now just for illustration. Let's see if I can find a good test NDA. Um, We'll use this one right here. I believe this is the one NDA template. And so I'm just going to say, please compare these two NDAs and present a table summary of the differences. Okay. So just like that, within a few seconds, it's going to uh, show side by side. 
it looks like the one I did upload is one NDA. So that's what it's comparing it to. Um, and it will immediately generate this result. And of course, as I said, you can do this in any language. Um, okay. Now let's get into the more structured aspect um, of how the tool works. Um, what you can do from here is go over to review and you will have uh, basically three playbook options. The first review with AI is a tool that we use to build a playbook from scratch using AI. So if you don't have your own playbooks or don't have the time to build a playbook on your own, uh, use this. You can upload maybe one of your own standard templates or in, in an active negotiation, you could also use um, a third party agreement. But what you're going to do here is uh, you'll indicate which party you're representing in the agreement. You'll indicate one or two issues that you're particularly focused on. Uh, and then you'll start review. What's happening here is it's not just that it's generating a, a review of the document. It's actually building an AI generated playbook. This is really important because if you're using your own templates for this purpose, it's going to mirror your default jurisdiction or your default term length and codify that into a rule, which you can then, and this is really important, you go to your rules area section. Now I can go one by one and modify this AI generated playbook to meet my specific needs. And so I can rename the title of the playbook. I can go issue by issue. Let's click on term and termination. And from here, I can modify. Oh, this says typically three to five years. I want to be more precise. I want this to be a specific red line change if it deviates. Oh, I want to add a comment. Um, let's see. As a matter of policy, this is our required term length. These now get carried over when I apply these rules, when I apply um, these changes, the comment will come with it so that your final work product will be a completely redlined document with each corresponding comment um, included. Uh, we also have a library of standard uh, playbooks that will, is growing every month. Uh, this is enabled by the Law Insider and One NDA team. Um, so MSA, Cloud Service Agreement, uh, EULA, et cetera, will be here. And, and this library will just continue to get bigger and bigger. And it's a good starting point also in the event that you don't have your own playbook. For those who use us as um, uh, larger than just uh, AI review, but also for contract lifecycle management, uh, we integrate with eSign so you can take an agreement that is ready to be signed uh, and instead of downloading it, converting it, uploading it to DocuSign or whatever steps you may take, sending it back to the counterparty, letting them do that work, you can go directly um, from the document into signature mode using these um, using the, the request option where you'll just put in the counterparty information and it will immediately route for review and signature. That has another really valuable point that I want to show you. Before I leave the word add in though, just to do a recap, um, comparison is a wonderfully powerful feature, comparing two documents together, draft, very efficient multi-language scenario um, that is compared against the Law Insider database. The red line capability you saw, ask for a change, it will propose a change with the red line. Um, Playbooks, AI powered, this is where you can turn a template into a playbook within just a few seconds and then can go personalize it and modify it from there. Uh, and then the, the playbook library itself. Um, oh, you know, one thing I didn't show is I, I didn't run a full playbook. So let me just actually, since I have a one NDA up or, uh, or have an NDA up, let me run it against the one NDA playbook so you can see what a full playbook being run and applied looks like. The one NDA playbook has 19 issues that it looks for. And in this case, um, it's identifying and proposing changes based on my configuration of the one NDA playbook. So this is taking um, a six year proposed term and proposing 15 months, which is my default. Um, it's changing some jurisdiction from <laughs> 
Cal- uh, Florida back to California. We had made that change earlier. So yes, it does analyze red lines as well. Um, so you can work your way through this. You will know in some cases uh, it proposes red lines and in others it just makes suggestions. So you can configure your playbook rules to also uh, just flag items that you'll use your legal discretion on then to decide whether or not to to make further modifications or not. So this is how it works. You in you know a minute or two uh, can get through um, the application uh, of the playbook um, and the end result is a completely redlined with comments document that you can then uh, send back to the counterparty or, or otherwise route internally. 100%. Okay, we did it. So, so that's the basic core functionality of Simple AI. More features are coming soon, so watch this. Uh, it's it's becoming a wonderfully powerful tool. Um, there's thousands of legal teams now using this, so you're in good company. And and the, the result of that is there's a lot of energy and investment going into this tool. So you will see it continue to evolve over time. Okay, I'm gonna take two more minutes here, uh, and then again, if you have more questions, please feel to to book a demo with us. We'd love to to give you a custom uh, demonstration and give you pilot access. Uh, beyond the simple AI, beyond AI review and redlining is a full contract lifecycle management platform. And, uh, this is everything from AI first repository, which allows you to, uh, rapidly access using natural language, your entire database. So if your CEO or CFO comes to you saying, Hey, we need to find all of the agreements that have nine non-assignment clauses. You can very quickly do that using AI. Uh, but we also Beyond that, have workflow automation. We're wonderfully good at this. We do this for lots of public companies, um, lots of multinationals, financial institutions, pharmaceuticals, uh, where you are looking to move paper faster within and outside your organization, self-serve access for the business teams, um, faster time to signature. So if you're interested in more CLM-related capabilities, please request a demo. We are SOC 2, Type 2 compliant. We are GDPR compliant. All of our policies are hosted on our trust center. One last feature that I'm so proud of because it's brand new that I'm going to show you before I go here is when you're inside our backend platform. So I'm in the CLM now and I go to my request. This is where all of the in-process contracts live um, in, in their various status and stages. So not yet in the repository, but pre-signature. Um, I'll give you an example of what happens when you're using the word add-in and workflow automation and repository together. In this case, I have an in-flight deal. I can see the status, who signed it, who's reviewed it, who are the key parties. But I also have a summary in the activity feed that is AI driven to where it says simple AI summary here. And so it's taking all of the red line changes either by initiated by you or by the counterparty, and it's giving you a summary. So I can go download those versions specifically to see three versions ago where we were in the process, but I can also get a quick glimpse into what changes were proposed um, in each of those drafts. So this is a wonderful harmonizing or bringing together um, of the two tools. That's it. If you have questions, again, head on over to simpledocs.com and request a demo. Top right, you'll see it here. Uh, You can always reach me directly. I am the CEO and co-founder, Preston Clark. I'm Preston at simpledocs.com. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.